Hello and welcome to Late News Now on KRMS TV 32. I'm Mike Anthony. Today's top stories, a proposed ordinance change prohibiting the use of open flame cooking devices for multifamily dwellings within the Osage Beach Fire District will not go into effect, at least for right now. The Fire District's Board of Directors took up the issue during Tuesday night's meeting reviewing all public comments received via email and during open house style meetings over the past three months before choosing not to take action. Extremely thoughtful and understood the safety issue, but also most of them, 95% of those were, you know, still wanted to have some kind of uh, ability, you know, be able to cook on their deck or use their grill. The board chose not to take that action, so new board member Robert Currier can get up to speed on the ordinance. The board will now consider putting that open grill ban in effect during its August meeting on the 22nd. And repair crews from Amory, Missouri kept busy Tuesday afternoon in the lake area, responding to a couple of issues with their utility poles. The first and perhaps more significant problem occurred along Lighthouse Road on the North Shore when a tree fell and took out a power line or two, leaving nearly 600 without power. The road was closed while repairs were made. The other incident happened in Osage Beach when a pickup truck ran into a pole at the intersection of Redbud and Passover. Power was not initially lost at the time, and a quick fix was done to keep the pole and the rest of the lines in the area from coming down. That's your Lake News Now. I'm Mike Anthony.